بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل پروڈکٹس ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو کنیکٹ ٹوٹ ود اوریکل آٹونومس ڈیٹا بیس ان دا کلاؤڈ ان مائی کیس ہیو ٹوٹ ٹویلو پوائنٹ ٹین اینڈ اوریکل ڈیٹا بیس از نائنٹین سی فسٹ ویل ڈسکس وٹ کائنڈ آف اسٹیپس وی ہیو ٹو ٹیک because this uh, question was there in the community so i thought better let me record it to share with everyone over the youtube channel okay in the steps if you see here the first step is <clears throat> we log into the cloud account and the database should be started it shouldn't be uh, stopped then second is we will download wallet files included uh, sqlnet.ora and tnsnames.ora and then we will unzip those uh, wallet files in a folder uh, since it's a cloud uh, instance so we need to add uh, ip address and uh, url in our <coughs> uh, host file if not then we will use the ip address of the um, database right Okay, then we will copy these files in our um, Oracle home folder, network folder. And then, of course, we will try to log in using TOT. And uh, now we will start with the practical and please share your feedback after the video uh, in order to get um, awareness how this video worked for you. Right? Okay, let's proceed to uh, our um, practical. So, we will apply these things in our instance and we will um, show connectivity through TOT. Right, let's proceed. Okay, let me minimize it. Okay, this is my database, autonomous database, uh, ERP stuff 01, the root compartment and I just installed one uh, sort of, uh, you can say sample or something like that. It's uh, ATP. Uh, autonomous transactions processing database so if you see here it is in available status if it is stopped then you have to start and then we will click here on the name and it will show us the name and all other information of your database and details right if you see here everything is there okay now if you don't know or don't remember that administrator password better to change it from here because uh, then you will have to log in with this admin password okay so this is this you can change from here right okay i believe you remember the password so we'll proceed towards the connectivity okay we'll go to the db connection here right here it is showing download client credential and we will go with the instance wallet it has regional as well we will go with the instance and uh, it download wallet right and it will ask for the uh, wallet password as well which we can keep something uh, like uh, i will say o or oracle 123 oracle 123 <clears throat> in few cases it might be asked in the clients but uh, in toad it will not ask i believe okay download okay done i will close this one i don't need it and this wallet is there so let us go here and i will extract here in this folder i had already extracted a while ago just to have testing uh, it is there if you see here or whatever we just extracted let us proceed with what we extracted just right now right okay what we have to do we have to take all these files and we will copy in our oracle home which is used for our connectivity where we have already tns names dot aura and sqlnet dot aura because here it is there if you are i mean maybe you are already having local connectivity and you don't want to replace this one then what you will do you will take these entries and will copy in your existing tns names dot aura and sqlnet.ora you will copy these two and you will 
update this path with your local uh, directory structure i will show you uh, in a while okay what i will do I, what i did uh, i removed all my existing files from there so instead of changing i will just copy paste over there copy and it is here i will go to network this is the path and admin here normally you have tns names and uh, sqlnet aura right so i removed just to uh, avoid any confusion right i will copy paste here right so if you see here now in sqlnet.ora i need this path, uh, path i will go to sql okay and you can just take the first part and replace this question mark but i took the whole so it is now as per my windows structure since i am using windows if you have any other os you will have the <coughs> relevant path right and i will close this by saving it right that's it so in over here i have this information now here the problem is if you see here we have host name which normally might not resolve right so we might need to get the ip address otherwise we need to put this in our uh, host file so what i will do let me uh, do cmd and if i will do this one it should show me ip address okay this is the ip address so what i will do i will copy this from here control c and then i will replace over here and just check this is my high profile okay that's it and same way you can uh, do in the other uh, low or medium or whatever so I, I, let us try with the high control alt f has save right now it is saved right okay now coming to tot this is my version of the tot 12.10.0.30 it is 64 bit okay now session new session and here i will enter admin which i showed you there and i have password over there <clears throat> and then here i will select hi right this is already everything is there and connect excellent we got connected and now let me see select so from v dollar instance right it is there started archiver started parallel yes everything is there so dba sorry users i mean now it is uh, connected <clears throat> now let me try the same just to show you the problem i will go with admin sorry let me go here okay admin password will be same and now since i had not changed for medium or low let me try with the low uh, the url name so let me try Ah, okay. So this time it got resolved. Uh, uh, last time I was trying, it was not getting resolved. So even you don't need to change IP address or sorry URL name with IP. So let me change it back because it is getting resolved. No issue. Copy and control V. Right. Excellent. Now just one more try. I will do and all connections yes no just more one one more try I will do with the high right this one and this time it is with the URL
excellent so if you already have a dns then what you have to do you have to copy uh, from here and you can put it over uh, on top of or bottom of that dns names .ora. and in case of uh, sqlnet.ora what you can do just take this sqlnet.ora these two lines and copy paste there and uh, by and uh, update this path as well right i think Mm, now you are you should be able to connect to uh, autonomous database in the cloud so enjoy your connectivity and then meanwhile you can close and that's it right please share your comments and feedback thank you very much for for watching allah hafiz